my feet. I'm almost afraid to take them off the floor in case they drop off. Don't let string see you sitting there. Well, aren't we allowed to sit down? Don't think so. Quick, here she comes. Hello. That very ferocious nurse that I should find you here. I'm Viola Courtney. Oh, yes. I'm Georgina Worsley. This is Angela Barclay here. I know your cousin, James Bellamy. He gave me the most delicious dewdrop once. Dewdrop? Compliment. I collect them, don't you? We were staying with Bunny and Diana Newbury. He said I was much too beautiful to be so intelligent. I'm sorry I'm late. I couldn't get into this extraordinary uniform. I've never worn a stiff collar before. I feel like a cloud on me. Your uniform is much better than ours. I had it made at Harrods. I didn't mind looking like a nurse. I didn't really want to feel like a housemaid. Would you like a cup of tea? My dear, I'd love one. Is it really allowed? When I saw those extraordinary little rooms. Too austere. So amusing. Quite expect to be incarcerated here on bread and water. Well, we usually have a cup of tea at 10 o'clock after we've given the blanket baths and changed the sheets. My dear, tomorrow I promise to work like a demented slave and earn my cup of tea. What time do we go off duty? I asked that head nurse. She looked at me as though I inquired whether she was a virgin, telling me to ask you. Whether she was a virgin? I think I could make a daring guess about that. <laughs> Don't find a chance to have any lemon. No. I think I should look upon it all as an experience. Bruce has given me... You know Bruce Craven? Got the MC. Wounded three times already. Poor darling. Too thrilling. He's given me a diary. Bound in blue leather with a lovely gold clasp. He told me to write it every day and then have it published at the end of the year. Or maybe sell it to a filmmaker for enormous sums of money and act it myself. What will you call the film? Pet pans and scrubbing brushes. <laughs> Bruce suggested Angel of Mercy. I'd have to design my own uniform then. You'd better get back to work. I wash the cups. No, no, I will. By the way, what time do we leave the convent balls? Well, we'll be from four to six and then on duty again until nine when we hand over to the night people. Oh, but that's marvellous. Derek Benton Smith has promised to take me to tea at Gunther's every day, and Bruce is going to have a taxi waiting at the gate from 8 p.m. onwards. But we have to be back here every night at 10 o'clock, and if we're even a minute late, the gates will be locked, and that means we're dismissed instantly. But the porter of the gates is a nice little man. He'll call me your ladyship nurse in the sweetest way, and I'm sure he'd let us in. Yeah. <laughs>